Welcome to this mini teardown of the Ultimateers Hyperboom speaker. Now, one particular point that I've read about is this mesh cover. And what I've seen is that people say, don't take this completely off because it's really difficult to get back on. But if you stick around till later, I'm going to show you a really neat trick on how to get this back on very, very easily. And finally, I wanted to mention that I've already done one video about this speaker on the channel where I removed and replaced the power socket here. So I'll leave a link in the description if you wish to watch that. Right, let's make a start. The first thing you need to do is to remove these covers. They should be just hand tight. So just take them off. If you find they're a little bit uh, stiff to move, then you know use something to just give you a bit more leverage on them and then that comes off. So we'll put that away for safekeeping. The next thing we need to do is take these two off. Now you will need an Allen key for that. In my other video, I took these off using pliers and that was the wrong thing to do. They should just come out quite simply like that. They're just screwed in. Now that loosens up this, but it won't, this won't come off because there is a screw down here and you need to take the base of the speaker off to get access to it. Right, the next thing we need to do is we need to take the feet off. So these are just stuck down. So you will need to pry these up. So we've got three screws in each one and I think we do need to take these two screws off as well. And we just pry it up from one side and it should come off. And there we go. And as, as I will point out, there is the screw there that you need to remove to remove this. So if we remove this screw, that will loosen up the mesh so we can get inside and you can actually just pull the mesh up like that and it should come out. Right, just gently pull and it will come off. Now in order to get this bit out you have to take both sides of the mesh off. So let's do this side as well. As you can see, it's quite easy to just get your thumb under there and lift. Then we can move the mesh out of the way and we can see that there's a few clips. Now this one's broken, but if we get a little tool, we should use a plastic one and just put that in and lift it up and then there's two on this side as well so just turn it around and then we just gently do that and do the one at this side again there we are this will come off and as you can see, there's three connections there that we can take off. These, these brown bits at each side, just pry those up at each side. Don't just pull the cable out because you will damage it. Pull them both up together and it will come out. There we are. This is how you can get access to the socket. So if any of these are broken, just remove those four screws. Right, so that's the plastic taken off. What we're gonna do is take the mesh off now. So what I'll do is I'll take my plastic thing, just go around all the way. Now you need to be able to see that. So we just go around the top and it comes off there. And basically, that's it. That is the mesh completely off. 
let's have a look around the speaker itself. So on this side, we have tweeter and main driver. On this side, we've got the sim. On here, we've got the what's the radiator, so it's not an actual speaker itself. And we've got another one here. Let's see if we can remove this speaker, but I suspect it'll be glued in also. And then we'll take the tweeter out as well. You know, it's sealed in, so you'll, you'll have to break the seal to get that out. And there we go. Well, there's a little bit of cable there, so you can, you can take it fully out. So I spent a bit of time trying to remove the speaker, but it has been very well glued in. It doesn't want to come out. However, as I don't want to risk damaging either the speaker or the plastic surrounds, I think we'll abandon this and find a different way to look inside. So we come to the point where we're going to take the lid off. Initially, when you look at it, you can see what looks like kind of glue there. But actually, the lid comes off from around here. Just so in there. Click the little bits off, move it around. And you will just take it easy. Ah, and oh, off it comes. So there we go. Right, okay, so we've managed to get the top off. Fell off really, but um, so you can see this is where all the connections are. And this is for the volume plus and minus. Now, if you needed to get access to these buttons here, then you're going to have to take these screws off. But I think to get this top section off, you're going to have to take that tape off and you're going to have to break that kind of silicon or glue or whatever it is. But what we'll do is we'll put this back on there and then just pull. And there it goes. That's it all back on and still works, so that's good. So let's put it back together just a little bit before we take a look further inside. Let's remake these connections back to the sockets. And that's it. So we'll push this in. And with these little bits, you do have to angle it in a little bit, and then on the other side. Okay, and now we come to the moment you've been waiting for, refitting the mesh cover. So it's important to note that it only goes on one way. So if I show you, so with a gap there, it goes on to fit over this bit. Looking at the mesh itself, you can hopefully see that there is this kind of lip here. So if you look on the speaker, you can actually see, let me see if I can zoom in. You can actually see the little recess there that these lips will fit into. Have this bit close towards you and it goes like this. Put the cover over. So these will just slide in straight away without you doing much of anything at all. Push them in at the base as well. And then put this one in. And that one will just slide in really, really easy like that as well. Now we can turn it on its side. Once it's on its side, pull it towards you as far as you can and then push. And there, that's one side done. 
turn it around. So what you're doing is you're pushing on this side and then push that bit in. Again, just push and push it in. There. Just go all the way across. And there we go. And there's a little bit there. And that's it. That it is as easy as that. And if I show you, if I zoom in, you can see that it is fitted correctly. And at the bottom, you can see that that is fitted in perfectly. So there, there you go. You now know the trick to putting the mesh cover back on. Okay, so we've got the camera set up. So let's see what we can see. Um, we've got a little light on it here. So this is the PCB. Um, let's just rotate this round a bit. So there's, there's the PCB in all its glory. Got some capacitors. That connector there is, I believe, for the battery. Um, and if we try and go further down, let's see what else we can see. Yeah, it's going to get. Right, what's that say? Motor City, whatever that means. Now that looks like the battery pack. You can just see where that cable goes in and that is the battery pack. So looking at how to get access to the battery, it does look like you have to take out the speaker on the left, the main PCB, and then the battery cage is attached to that PCB. So we'll fit the base on now and you have to line it up with this corner with the white plastic and it will only fit on one way. Fit it on and then let's secure that in. Now we'll put the uh, rubber feet back on. Now we'll just put the last few items back on. So there we are, a mini teardown of the Ultimateers Hyper Boom Speaker. Hopefully from that you got a little bit of an idea on how to take the bulk of it apart. In particular, how to easily refit the mesh cover. Right, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, subscribe if you wish to, and thank you for watching. See you in the next one.